Hello, my name is Mitch, and welcome back to my single player, Mitch Plays Minecraft, Mitchcraft World. Woohoo! It's been a while since we started an episode out here, hasn't it? Oh, the whole world disappeared. No, it didn't. There it is. So, we're heading over here to the castle, and I've had something that's been bugging me for a while. I'll go take a look at it over here. The tree farm is empty, and since they changed the way some of the trees act, they've been poking a lot of holes up here. It's just not very efficient. I just cleared out the leftover trees, and I think today we're going to start trying to tear this down and pretty it up. Because let's be honest, this is not the best looking thing I've ever built in Minecraft. Actually, it was fairly quickly put together. See, look at this. Boom. Hole in the ground. It's not nice. But yeah, this whole thing was fairly quickly put together so I could just gather wood, and I never really touched it again. Even this little area up on top of it looks better. You come up here. Do to do. See, we got a little bit of more fanciness up here. And this is where I get all my vines. Do I have any vines? Oh, I've got a lot of vines. I'm vine rich. So anyway, I'm thinking about tearing out this floor here, and then tearing out the floor in here, and just I don't know, making it better looking. I know I can do better than this. You know I can do better than this. So let's go ahead and at least get things started here. Let's go ahead and tear this out. See, I don't even know why I used nether brick fence. It's ugly. Ugly, ugly, ugly. Give me this. Get that out of the way. Actually, I should bring a chest over here so I'm not just carrying all this stuff with me. Let's do that. Or, well, we're, where the wood is, maybe we could just make one. Give me that. Um, let's make one out of jungle wood, since I don't hardly ever use that for anything. We got workbench here. Well, bam. Let's make two. Get two of these going. Oh, well, okay, let's make six. Because if anything's worth doing, it's worth doing six times. Okay, so I'm going to go like this. And this might end up getting dark in here, so I think we should cover this doorway up, too. So we'll just do like this for now. Can I still reach that from here? If I'm under... I probably can't. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Actually, you know what would be better? While we're... Doing this all fancy-like. Let me come around here. See, most people would have this all prepared beforehand. Not me. Let's get up here. Grab some of these. And that's what we can use the barricade things off with. And then we can store all the extra stuff. And we won't lose anything. And that's a good thing. I don't know. It's just... Once you revisit a place that you've been at for so long, you just start to get tired of it. Like, I'm tired of this. This is gross. I come here all the time to get wood. And it does me no good. Because I'm just unhappy with the general look and feel of it. Can I put that there? Okay, that'll work for storage. Then we'll do like this. Cover those holes up. And just for good measure, we'll go like that. Actually, well, no, nothing's going to jump up there. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. Making sure nothing can get through on this side here. So if mobs start spawning in here, they can't do anything. But wreck something inside here. So anyway, let's get back up here. Get to tearing things down. Got that. Um, we should probably start on this side of the room. Alright, well a little progress has been made here. I got everything torn out, as you can see. It's all empty now and I was trying to figure out how I want to lay this out. I also forgot, I never covered up this part of the river or lake thing that's running by this. So I had a lot of falling into the water, and it's really deep, too. So now we're looking at this. We need light. That's the next thing we're going to need. But I like this kind of grid pattern, because I can grow regular-sized trees or the bigger ones in here without issue. Only problem is going to be with oak ones kind of growing over the build height. But I think our balcony up top might take care of that, if I still decide to do that or not. So let's go ahead... We'll grab some pumpkins and figure out our lighting situation here. I think I could do them on these corners. 
and then cover them up with something and that might look good but really I can go in like doot 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 then on here oops give me that one back no wait is that no that's not the right spot Really, we're going to end up with lighting squares in between here. It's kind of the same system we had set up at first. Just on a, like, bigger scale, I guess you could say. I'm going to torch back and put this here. And I might be overdoing it a little bit, but you can never overdo lighting. Especially in Minecraft. You don't want anything spawning inside the castle, creating problems and such. Let's cover that up. Got two out here. Two out here. Let's go one in this side. And I think that's it. Let's go take another look up the ladder. I'll climb up here. And then... Yep, I think we covered everything. <clears throat> so, what are we going to do in these little in-between areas? Well... I was thinking about trying to mix up some... Maybe some smooth stone, some cobblestone, and some stone bricks. Kind of like so. So we'll have something like that. Then maybe... Uh, I don't know, like this. Be careful not to pattern it up too much. Let's go heavy on it there. Then we'll go in like this. I'm just kind of randomizing how we use these. I think that should be good. And then we'll decide what we want to do around the outside and see what how much time we got left. To get anything else done today. You know, this is just one of those episodes I started. I was wandering around my world thinking, well, what can I do? And this kind of just popped up like a sore thumb because I needed more wood anyway. That's a good time to start in on this. Get right there. Um, let's just go ahead and fill in these two by twos first. And then maybe cobblestone there. Okay, now we'll decide what we want to do out here. Let's do two stone. Let's do some smooth stone and cobble. I think this is going to end up looking a lot better than what we had. I don't know, you tell me. You'll be the judge. Now what are we going to cover these pumpkins up with is going to be our next question. I think we could probably get away with carpet. Let's go like that and that. Okay, so that's good. I like that. Now what do we want to do with these little spots here? Do I still have an ender pearl? Yep. Let's ender pearl out of here. And then I'm gonna have to remember to get some more before I come back in there. So we'll do that first and then see how I'm doing on the carpet supplies. Okay, we got that. What kind of carpet do we have? We could do black or orange. I really like to do gray because I think that's gonna look the best. I don't know if we're gonna have enough. Whoops. Do I have any more gray in here? I have light gray. Oh, there's gray. Okay, we'll take that just in case we need it. That's going to add a nice little darker undertone, too. Because it's darker than the cobblestone. So it's contrasty, but not too contrasty. Oh, right in the water. Okay. We got this. I'll put these down. And I think this will look good. And then we'll have to worry about the outside border too. I don't know if I want to stick with the sandstone theme or not. I mean that was the original idea of this whole castle in the first place was to do like kind of a castle in the desert, so sandstone kind of makes more sense. 
I don't know. Haven't really decided yet. Oh, got you. Stop breaking physics. All right. So that's all covered now. Looks good. Let's look at it from up here. I like the darker gray. Now I need to, I feel like I need to border that in something and figure out what I'm going to do on the outside borders too. Hmm. Let's, oops. Of all the times I don't land in water. Okay, we could do wood or we could do with some sandstone. Hmm. Let's see what sandstone looks like. Going all the way around. I mean, it's going to very much give it the same kind of look and feel it had before, which I don't know if I want or not. Oops. You go away. It's going to be a very definite border. I mean, I don't know if I like that or not. I need another gray color. Think. We kind of used all our gray bricks. I mean, there is andesite, but I don't have it here. We want to continue on with the kind of broken up look and feel of things. Hmm. Let's see. I mean, we could just go with cobblestone. Let's take a look and see what we've got in the supply room. Do that darker wood. That always looks kind of good, too. Do we have any in here? Nope. Just one polished. And then some diorite. I think diorite is going to be too contrasty. We do gravel. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hmm. Aha! I think I got it figured out. We're going to use this uh, acacia wood laying on its side. I like how that looks. Now we're going to bring it around to the other side in the back and then fill in these little blank spots with the sandstone. Because then we kind of still keep the sandstone look and feel of things. Let's go ahead and get this place back here. We'll just put it side on its side. That way you don't see the orange part. Because I think the orange part would be a little distracting right here. Do that. That. And well, bam and if we sandstone this all up, that should all look good. It's all very smooth. All right. And then there's an entrance, so we'll do it like that on this side. We might have to do the same thing on this side, too, really. Because it is another entrance, although it kind of is in my way. Design-wise, I like for this to have one entrance, but we could go with two. Did I make that two or four? One, two, three. I made it four wide. Let's go ahead and bring that out another one. Really, I guess I could do that all the way around, too. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see how this looks first. Before I go messing with stuff. Yeah, let's get the sandstone put down. Go oh, doop, doop, doop. Oop, come on. There. And that should take care of the problem of upstairs where the the leaves were going through the dirt and the wood and all that. Kind of like, that kind of bugs me still. I don't know. Let's look at this. We may still have to add a few more detail things here and there. Let's get this all placed down. All right, now let's look at it from up here. Do we like this floor pattern better? Hmm. Do I want to bring the acacia like up the sides on the left and the right? I think I might. So we're going to bring it in right here. I think that'll look better. And I'm very tired of falling in that water already. Let's get that right there. Uh, 
That's not worth trying to save. Oh crap, I'm stuck. Come on. Ender Pearl. Ha ha. Alright. Now, we'll get it on this side. Wait. Thought I heard an Endermite. I don't know where he went. Like that. Now, hopefully, we have enough of this to go up both sides. If we don't, we're going to have to take a break and do some tree trimming. Or chopping. You know what I mean. Okay, we'll come in here with this. No, 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 no. Not side. There. We need you to come in sideways. Ooh, it's going to be cutting it close. This is all the acacia wood I have left, too. I'll come around here. He must be under the water or something. He can just stay there. Alright. That feels much better. But I want to kind of balance it out. Is he drowning? Is that that noise? I don't know if you're hearing it or not, but it's rather distracting for me. Okay, we'll go like that, and then do the same thing on this side. Crap, where's the middle? I think that's the middle. Oh, come on, really? One short? Urgh. One, two, three, four. And then we'll go... One, two, three, four... And blop. There we have it. I like this. This looks very nice. Can we even bring it in like right here, maybe? How's that going to look? Because I kind of don't like the fact that those have such hard corners right there. But it does kind of take away from some of the detail. I don't know. Crap, where did I take that other one away from? Okay, that corner over here. Hmm. Okay, so we keep our sandstone kind of look and feel of things. All these are relatively the same size. How's that one? One, two, three, four. I got four in the middle there. One, two, three, four. Why is this one different? One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, it's because the door's in a different spot. Crap. Yeah, it's not centered like it is on this one. Did I do it right on this side? Yeah. So we'll just have to come across here. Chop away on this some. Hmm. Is that right? And then take away some on this side. It's going to make the door look wonky, though. Which I'm not totally in love with. Stupid Minecraft. And if there was a way to get rid of that door, I would. But there's not right now. Not unless we just go... Well... Let's look at this. Because really, that would take rid... Or get rid of this whole hallway right here, too. If we tried to do something like that. Eh, I don't know. We'll just have to go with the wonky doorway for right now. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're gonna... I think I like this. It looks good. Let's look at it from up here. Yep. Now we can grow all the trees up as tall as we want them. And we're all ready to set and go. And yep, I like it. So I think that's probably gonna be it for today. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you think, and I will see you guys again next time.